welcome to CADLINK for M1. CADLINK is a premier CAD to ERP integration tool for M1. It is a bi-directional tool used to create, compare, and modify bills of materials and part data at the click of a button. By using CADLINK, you can eliminate clerical work and increase utilization of your skilled engineers. By synchronizing your bill of materials and part data with your CAD data, you will reduce errors and inaccuracies and prevent unnecessary losses from scrap parts, shop floor confusions, and inventory errors. Here we have a multi-level assembly open in SOLIDWORKS. Let's imagine that you're an engineer and you've just finished designing this and now you're ready to enter it into M1. Because CADLINK is directly integrated in SOLIDWORKS, we can launch directly from this interface. With the model open, you can launch it directly from the toolbar. Now, CADLINK is comparing all the components in the properties, such as part number, description, and quantity in the model we just created, with the matching bills of materials in M1. The results of this comparison are shown in this grid. As you can see, CADLINK has maintained the multi-level assembly structure, and the colors highlight the difference between the assembly and the item master in M1. Let's talk about these different colors. White rows represent parts from your model that exist already in your M1 item master. Lines in green represent parts that exist in your model but not in your M1 item master. So CADLINK will create this part in M1 with the appropriate part number, revision, description, quantity, and add it to the bill of materials for you. Rose and gray represent parts to be removed from the M1 bill of materials because they no longer exist in the CAD model. CADLINK will remove this part from the bill of materials in M1 and synchronize it with your SOLIDWORKS BOM. And finally, lines with yellow represent field level discrepancies between your CAD and M1 data. By right clicking this field, we can see what the CAD description is what the ERP description is, and select whichever is correct. You also have the option to manually enter your own with the CADLINK description. When CADLINK saves, it will push this field bi-directionally to update both the CAD model and the bill of materials on the M1 side. Now, sometimes you have parts that are meant to be on the M1 bomb, but you don't necessarily model them in SOLIDWORKS. Examples of this might be paint, glue, nuts and bolts. Items like this may be added to the bill of materials by right-clicking the square and selecting Add Manual Part. CADLINK can search directly into your M1 database using the part number or description and add these parts to the bill of materials. For example, if I want to add a bolt, I can do a search into my M1 database and find the appropriate bolt and easily add it to the bill of materials. In addition, CADLINK also has support for raw materials. If a component has raw materials, you can search directly into M1 and easily add that material information. I can do a quick search into M1 to select the appropriate raw material and easily add it to the bill of material. Operations can also be assigned to manufactured parts throughout the CADLINK interface. You can go to the Operations tab and select the manufactured part. If the part already exists in M1, CADLINK will pull the existing bill of operations. You can add work centers one by one. Once again, these drop-down menus are taken directly from M1. You also have the option of loading a template from an existing bill of materials. After doing so, we can go back to the bill of materials grid and assign these operations to each of the parts. The bomb changes tab provides you a summary of all the changes we're making once CADLINK saves. Keep in mind none of these changes have actually occurred yet, 
Cadlink has not yet saved, in fact our save button is actually grayed out, but these changes will occur when Cadlink does save. This tab can be exported as an Excel file or a PDF for your convenience. The CAD Properties tab is a read-only tab which allows you to view the properties from your SOLIDWORKS model. This makes it easier for the engineer to view their CAD data without switching back and forth between CADLINK and SOLIDWORKS. Finally, the Messages tab will list all of the issues that need to be addressed before CADLINK can save. For example, some of these may be exceeding a character limit or having a blank operation. By double-clicking one of these messages, it will take us to the offending line and highlight it so that you can see where the issue is. The Messages tab only points out issues within the data that you're trying to push into M1. As you address the Messages tab, the issues will disappear and the Save button will be re-enabled when you've solved all of them. You do have the option to only partially save the BOM. You can choose specifically which line items you wish to push to M1, and Catlink will only save those line items that you've chosen. This function allows you to push things like long lead time items into the bill of material first. Catlink is a powerful tool to equip your engineers with. The time they save by using Catlink can be put back into doing actual engineering work. Thanks for watching.